Tom Gray. Word of Knowledge means immense work. It's the work of the Supreme God, God Brahm. Our Padma states, God the Nomahakar, Hari Hari Kopal. This powerful statement provides detailed explanation of many incarnations of God, such as God, Hindu goddess of death and time. This further provides an explanation of the divine formation of the Supreme God. The name Parabrahm has an eternal power. Just by reciting the cosmic name of Parabrahm Padmanabh makes an ultimate impact and has supernatural power to destroy the God, who are known to eat Sur, Muni, Sid, Shakti, Sikotar, Bhavangi, etc. Shri Maharaj further elaborates that Prabhuji is the supreme deity who is formless and beyond all other deities. He is the one who has established the universe and has extreme powers. All you need to do is recite his name. There is no need to do anything additional. Thank you. Shri Ramkale, Shri Jivanji Maharaj Nijo, Bodhi Karaj. As we know, the cotton seed and cotton get cultivated and separated in a cotton gym at a factory. As such, by chanting the powerful name of Bodhi Karaj, it helps to purify the soul from the fivefold body and guide us to achieve an ultimate goal to unite with the Supreme Deity. Bodhi Karaj emphasizes that our time should not be wasted in worshipping the Maya and God. Bodhi Karaj further explains that the only way to achieve salvation is by Bhagavad Sar. Surrounding yourself to the God. This is the only way to become free from the circle of life. It is said that before the creation of the universe, God slept in the form of a baby, Madhapatra, by carrying the soul in himself. One may ask, where did the faults of this soul then go? It is believed that God is a supreme being and carried the soul's faults within him. Sri Adhyavaji further writes that the ultimate cycle of life will only be released if you meet Guru Jivanji Maharaj or else the soul will have to live through 8.4 million rounds of life cycles. Lakshmi, Lakshmi, Ramkar. Sri Ramkar, Sri Jivanji Maharaj, Nietzsche, Harak Bhavan. Sri Adhyaguji Maharaj has created each kirtan or chapter very carefully. Action and reaction are the laws of the world. Where there is joy, there is mourning, and where there is mourning, there is joy. The Vedic scriptures contain endless ideas about various forms of God. The divine name will help to cross all difficult paths and to reach the ultimate goal, which is to attain God. This kirtan further describes pure, pure devotion to the formless, embodied nirvan, form of God. The only way to reach God is to have extreme devotion to Him. Devotion to the Supreme Being must be fulfilled with happiness, pure feelings, and should be carried out with all of our hearts. As Harak Bhavan says, Bhagavat Nam Aj H Sirva Nusa, meaning the reciting of God's name is the essential for living life. Ramkabir. Ramkabir, in this kirtan, Adiruji Maharaj describes how the soul suffers during and after life and requests to God for soul's absolution. Adiruji Maharaj has a Express deep thoughts on why the soul, as a child of God, has to go through an intense desire, beliefs, actions, findings, and its consequences. On the other hand, why is the Supreme Soul, the God, beyond such findings for its materialism? Adhiruji Maharaj further describes that the soul who lives in ignorance of worship of Bhagavad Nam has to suffer and endure the cycle of 8.4 million reincarnations. Thank God this soul is now praying your name with devotional feelings and accept us as your devotion. Ram Kabir. Ram Kabir. Jivanji Maharaj Nijay. The four Vedas, 18 Purans, and six Sastras all total 28 books of Hinduism. However, in our Ram Kabir Uda Bhat Samaj, we practice the 28 Kirtans of Adhyaruji Maharaj, all included in the five Vishrams of Parai. By unique and exclusive devotion, uniting with God is the ultimate base of our life. Just as a fish cannot live without water, a soul cannot live without God. A soul without a physical body is the supreme soul, or in other words, God. In any given situation, worship should be practiced with heartfelt emotions by engaging all of our senses in spiritual devotion. 
while a materialistic approach should be avoided. All worldly pleasures are momentary and short-lived. We should not waste our time and energy for such elusive and insignificant pleasures. These false pleasures do not fulfill the soul, but leave our soul in misery. At the end of the kirtan, we are praying to God to relieve our soul from the suffering caused by materialistic actions and to bless us with liberation by inspiring spiritual thoughts and actions in our lives. Ram Typically, saints wear saffron, a shade of orange colored cloth, which are inspired by a color of plant called sodami. This is merely external sodami. In our religion, we have an internal form of sodami which can be described as intense feelings of devotional worship that we hold in our hearts and thought. This color of soulful devotional love never fades away. This kirtan has inspired a strong urge of devotional worship. With devotion to Ram Nam, we can cross the deep and endless ocean of the light. The God who is the creator of the, this okay. universe and whose ten incarnations and twenty-four forms are described in Bhagavad Only by worshipping such a powerful supreme god can a soul escape the cycle of birth and death. With the worship and blessings of God, one can get Atmanyam, such knowledge. Ram this powerful arati has a divine meaning within it. The joy of Anand arati has spread immensely in our heart when our brand other <laughs> Harijan devotees came. Saint's vision, Darshan, will destroy three main afflictions of the devotee's life. Divik, negative energy, Dihik, bodily suffering, and Bhotik, material suffering. It also guides the devotee to break the new bond of birth and death and cross devote sea Basara. This is the ultimate moment of enjoyment. Let's all celebrate with a divine pleasure. Every devotee in each household is celebrating with ultimate joy and greetings. All are in the same spiritual, joyful state of mind. Jan Givan Das has become extremely happy with such joy. 